How are you with personal boundaries? Do you find it hard or uncomfortable to say no to people? Saying yes to things may bring us opportunities, but it may also lead to difficult and even painful situations that could be avoided if we are capable of saying no and know how to say it. So, here are five signs you should definitely say no. Number one, your body feels fatigued. It is almost instinctual to say yes to anything asked of us. When we are at work, we want to say yes to any task given to us. When we are with our families, we say yes to every single favor asked. Denying our feelings is easy to do, but our bodies will tell us the truth. According to the World Health Organization, the stress that people gain from long hours and being overloaded by tasks at work contribute to the increasing number of health problems workers experience, like getting sick more often and eventually quitting their jobs. So, when our body tells us to say no, then we should listen to it. Number two, your quality of work is declining. They say it's better to let the work speak for itself. So, when your work is not the way it used to be, maybe it's time to assess your commitments. When we say yes to things that exceed our capacity or try hard to stay on top of all our responsibilities, the quality of our work may also suffer. In any situation, quality is always better than quantity. Number three, you have no time for far more important things. Do you find it difficult to find time to attend important life events? Time management is a valuable skill. However, according to Stephen Covey in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, we can't manage our time, only ourselves. Knowing our priorities will help us set our firm boundaries. Saying yes to fleeting and random things is saying no to the moments that actually matter. Number four, you're losing your motivation. Have you experienced saying yes to things that ended up feeling too much? According to the drive theory of motivation, we are motivated to do things because it satisfies our needs, eases tension in our body, and keeps everything in balance. But when we commit too much, our body's balance is affected and our motivation to do things wanes. Number five, you're losing your sense of self. We often say yes because we want to impress people or achieve something, but none of this matters when we compromise who we are. As new opportunities or relationships arise, we work hard to prove ourselves. However, when it gets to the point of losing ourselves for their sake, then we should start to say no. There is no opportunity or relationship worth pursuing when you lose your relationship with yourself. Saying no may lead to losing these opportunities, but it is saying yes to yourself. It may be tempting to say yes to every single opportunity or request, but the major yes should be to yourself and your priorities. So remember, sometimes saying no is the best yes you can give yourself. Can you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments below. Also, feel free to share this video with others who might benefit from it. As always, the references used are listed in the description box below. Until next time, friends, take care and subscribe to Psych2Go for more great content. Thanks for watching.